Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. And today you've just entered Aim Assist Central, as I'm going to be talking about the best way to use the Martini Henry Infantry on console and give you some tips and tricks that make it almost unfair to use in my opinion. The mechanics in this game that you can exploit are literally that strong. To really hammer these points home, all the clips you'll see in this video are taken from just four random games and I'm not even slightly worried that I'll run out of clips. In fact, I won't come close to using all of them. This gun is just so damn good if you can train yourself to use it properly. Now let's begin so you too can soon be blasting chests open with the Martini Henry Infantry. So for once we'll start with the weaknesses you need to keep in mind. The Martini Henry has low bullet velocity and a low fire rate. So your best bet is not to use it too much like the other infantry scout weapons in the game. At range you have to lead your target by a huge amount in order to make contact. It can be done, but it's not even close to the weapon's list of strengths. What the gun does have is a very forgiving sweet spot at close to longer medium range, which means you can blast people away one after another in an aggressive style if you can get to grips with how best to utilise the weapon. So let me tell you how to do that. Now remember we are talking about playing on console here, I assume it's a very different case on PC, but on console the Martini Henry Infantry and the Infantry Scout weapons in general have some of the strongest aim assist I've ever seen in an FPS game. This means your sights can be very briefly pulled towards the target if you aim near enough to an enemy. This results in what I'm going to be calling pop shooting being by far the most effective way to use the Martini Henry on console. What you do is you'll aim down sight which will feel very loose. You will then get this quick moment of a sticking feeling. This is when you pull the trigger and you'll often either pick up the kill or leave the enemy needing one shot to finish them. This will obviously work best on stationary or slow moving targets. So try to focus on this scenario. Also people running towards you are easy to take down. In these cases no real adjustments are needed to hit the target. Also a strong rule for finding a target is that if they're shooting at someone they likely aren't moving. So look for that gunfire and pick them off. Now on top of this spotting makes it even easier to pick the target off. The big red indicator draws your eyes and keeps you focused on the enemy even if they're moving. As soon as that indicator stops moving or slows down you can pop shot and often take them down. There are a couple of techniques you can actually use with spotting as well. Firstly is a rule you should employ in your gameplay regardless of what you're using, but you should be moving around almost constantly. Even just moving on the spot so you can survey the area to pick people out without being easily shot. When you see someone you can spot them and quickly take that shot. Secondly is looking around a corner without the intention of actually shooting someone. So if anyone is there, spot them, move back into cover before quickly popping back out. You now know whereabouts the enemy is, plus have the red indicator to draw your eye. So once again, you can look towards that area, pop shot, and take cover again. The final part of that is of great importance. Always move after every shot regardless of the outcome. If you kill them, you should move. If you miss them, you should move. If you hit them without killing them, then you should move. This allows you to either begin your reload without being a standing target, move to cover, or move to avoid damage as you pull your sidearm out to finish them off. A bonus tip is how to acquire a target that you can't see. There may be an enemy a long way off, or through smoke, or maybe most of their body is hidden. You can check for this by aiming down sight to see if your sights get dragged, or you can sidestep around while looking at an area. If you feel a pull, then you know someone is there, and you can try to pop shot them, or spot them. We'll finish with equipment usage with the Martini Henry. The obvious one being that the spotting flare will make all of this easier, Plus, you can totally kill people with the flare when you get used to it, which is always funny to me. Next is using a sidearm you're comfortable with, as you'll often need to quickly pull it out to finish an enemy you've hit in the lower body, or if you're in an engagement when a pistol is just a better option. And finally, something I don't actually have in these gameplays, but uh, get used to using that melee button. At super close range, you can barrel stuff the enemy, almost like using a shotgun, and then quickly hit melee for an instant finisher. So that's the Martini Henry Infantry made easy. If you can combine all of these techniques, you can be a dominant force. Acquire the target, spot them, line up if it's a good opportunity, pop shot, get the connection, kill. This can all be put together in less than a second with practice, which can make you an absolutely lethal prospect for the opposition to face. I hope this helps and you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the Martini Henry Infantry in the comments section below. Feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Latest.